Today we have come to a very unique park. It is on the slopes of the same hill on which the famous Mehrangar Fort of Jodhpur has been built. Filmmaker and environmentalist Mr. Pradeep Krishan designed this park with native species of plants and trees. Today Mr. Pradeep Krishan himself will guide us on a morning walk through the park. When we used to travel in the desert, we would often come across patches of particular kinds of soils which had their own particular kinds of plants mm -hmm. and we realized that we can't bring those plants back because we didn't have the right soil. Mm -hmm. Then we thought that if we make little, little kind of raised beds, so for example this, this soil goes down another three or four feet below the ground. Okay. So there's a column of maybe six feet of soil here. Uh -huh. Because lots of plants that um, that grow in sand, mm -hmm. they develop very, very deeply. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, four or five feet. Okay. Uh -huh. of roots, even if it's a small thing. Uh -huh. So this is now a collection of different uh, microhabitats based on the soils that they have uh -huh. and the plants that grow inside. You know? So this is, for example, a Salty, yeah. salty biome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned where this biome is from, mm -hmm. and the plants that grow here, and what is what is special about them. So he has this is all rhyolite, which is what this park is all made of. So this is the the basic volcanic rock in this park is all rhyolite. We look at the plants that are adapted, you know, to be to this particular soil, and then we grow them. Mm -hmm. If you want to know about any particular plant, Vernonia senioricens. Okay. Very hardy. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have any thorns, yeah. full of flowers, and very small leaves. It, it has Sarcostema, which is very, very interesting. Sarcostema has, a, they call it Kheer Kheem. Kheem, okay. Kheer Kheem, different from Kheem. Kheem is, is different, right? And it's a succulent mm -hmm. uh, from the uh, Posinaceae, and it's um, it, one of the things that fascinates me about it is that it flowers in the rains, mm -hmm. uh, and lots of butterflies dancing around. The flowers all appear here, like a you know at the butt ends. Mm -hmm. It's very strange. But then, mm -hmm. instead of producing fruit after a certain interval, it seems to sort of become dormant. Okay. And then the fruit are only produced eight months later. So the ones that we've seen, uh, where we got this from, mm -hmm. it's from from this strand there, further, 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 further. Yeah. So big. We found a plant uh. this one, this big, and just oh. and about so tall. Yeah. So it's quite mm. phenomenal. A single plant will have so many branches. Yeah, sing, single plant. So the uh, embryo will be dormant in the tips, uh, without uh, presumably. The yeah, uh -huh. I mean, we haven't we haven't okay, tried okay. to cut it open to see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Default, yeah, uh -huh. right. And very very uh, very very tolerant of uh, you know, dry conditions. Uh -huh. here. Uh, functions very much like a cactus, uh -huh. often mistaken to be a cactus. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. This is uh, something called Barleya ecanthoides, which is very. Uh, interesting mm -hmm. and this guy is very very interesting we we were driving somil and me were driving back to uh, jaipur mm -hmm. and we were looking for something else mm -hmm. and we stopped the car to get down and he said oh this is not what we were looking for then we saw this plant we said my god what is this we've not seen it before and we collected some seeds and we took some pictures of the flowers and the leaves and then Someone was going through Dr. Bhandari's book mm -hmm. and it mentioned that he had found a plant called Taverniera mm -hmm. close to Pali town and it was the only place that he'd seen it in all his years of and it turned out to be just and just sheer accident that we happened to stop at the same place that he'd seen it so now we're growing it in different mm -hmm. you know, but it, it seems to like these slightly carb carbonatic soils mm -hmm. This is high in calcium. Similar. These are the marine fossils, yeah. highly calcareous. That's right. 
uh, this has been used as a soil for these plants yeah and these <laughs> these fossils there are something like 600 species them to date to date uh, marine sediments mm -hmm. because each one is you know they, they've already studied the you know the origins of these mm -hmm. foram Okay. This is, a, this is a very interesting plant called Pogue. Oh. Caligonum polygonoides. Now, now in flower. Yeah, I have seen a plant like this, hmm. but not this slender. It is slightly uh, thick. Hmm. I think that is a uh, camp, uh, not that's camp. Uh, care, that's care, probably. Care, care. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the care is different. That has thorns. Yeah, yeah, that's very thorns. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is this this dominates the dune. You go towards the border area. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It dominates all those uh, slightly salty uh, dunes. Okay. Very much a keystone for the you know for the desert. And this it has uh, roots that burn at a very high temperature. Okay. Very high calorific value. Uh -huh. So the uh, goldsmiths and the blacksmiths, mm -hmm. they uh, they want the roots to use in their uh, furnaces. And mm -hmm. you know, so the this plant is disappearing now. It's becoming quite endangered. Okay. This was the secret. Hmm? This is uh, I Piazi ka naam bhul gaya. What is Piazi called? Uh, uh, botanically, no, you bhul gaya. We have to put these thorns here because otherwise dogs come yeah. and they mm -hmm. start digging this up. Yeah, no. uh, Sinio is the local Marwadi mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's called Crotalaria burria. The scientific name is Crotalaria burria. Okay. Sola. Uh, not very common, uh, grows in gravelly, iron-rich soil. <laughs> not seen very much. Uh, in fact, <laughs> Dr. Bhandari, uh, in his book, says that he's not seen the flowers. Uh. So we collected it and we've, we've seen the flowers. And the flowers are a big attractant for small bees. <laughs> this, is the, this is the fruit of it. Uh. The flowers are... Uh, this no, is fruit. Flowers are Here, here's the that's this. That's the fruit containing the seed. Uh, there is a remnant is like of the flower. Yeah. 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 So kind of large quartz grains, but inside the the soil is got mm -hmm. got a lot of iron in it. Uh -huh. This is something new we're trying here. This is that after we found that Taverniera uh -huh. near Pali, we've collected some of the rocks and some of the soils and we're growing the Taverniera in its own soil. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that, but this needs to be developed some more. Soil. And only the Phagonia manages to tolerate this. And there are four species of Phagonia in the desert. And uh, we're not sure which which one mm. grows where, but it's very interesting plant. Uh, so okay. there, are, there are some Phagonias that will grow in sand. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There are some that grow in sort of rocky uh -huh, places. Uh -huh. Some that like disturbed soils. Uh -huh. Quite a. This is a gymnosperm, and it's the only gymnosperm left in the desert now. So, uh, it's obviously a remnant of an earlier time mm -hmm. when the desert was much more moist. Mm -hmm. This this climber, huh? this, mm -hmm. this is a jar tree. It's climbing on a salvadora, so don't mix up the two. You are talking about this yeah. one? Yeah. This one. On the Nago Road, where IIT is, mm -hmm. If you go about 40 kilometers beyond, mm -hmm. there's a place called Kumharo Ki Dhani. And there is a whole uh, collection of these trees, maybe 50, 60 of these trees, in uh, nodular calcium soil. Mm -hmm. And they're all connected underground with, with their runners. Uh. So this, it forms clonal forests uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, in nodular calcium and nodular carbonate soils with seasonal water available to it. Uh -huh. So it's a very, very, very pretty tree also. So these are the flowers? These are, these are the flowers drying now. Drying, yeah. This is an interesting plant called Kadaba. And so Kadaba, it comes with this jacket on the fruit and it, the jacket comes off and then it reveals this bright orange covering for the fruit. Uh. You've seen Kadaba before in Italy? Yeah. 
but it's revealing the inside jacket. So you know, so it's like taking off your outside jacket and finding a bright orange thing oh. inside. It's very nice. This really but nice I don't know what the, I don't know what I mean. Obviously, the must be a bird attractant or something mm. because birds see in the red part of the spectrum. This is the chair that we've been doing. Mm -hmm. This is the chair. This I saw in campus. With thorns. Rohida is dropping its flowers now. Yeah. These are some neem trees growing on the top. They are not native plants, but they have been introduced. They are quite doing well in these rocks. The mycorrhiza, I think, are the key to understanding how these plants function. Mm -hmm. oh, is, there a, is there a nest? No. The sunbird makes its nest here every year. Every year. There's no wind here. <laughs> mm, slightly warmer. This looks a bit like a grass, but it's obviously not a grass. And loves to grow in these rocky areas. It's even growing a feather for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, but very hardy, very very sort of drought it's tolerant. It's just like a dope. Hmm? Dope? Dope? What is it? Dope? Well, it looks a bit like duba, but uh, you know, completely different uh, mm. plant over here. These are the <coughs> these are the fruits, mm. and the seeds are inside these things. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, is it at the bottom? Uh, uh, it's still this is a different. Uh, this is this is a different. This is a different. This is a different. This is This is Older uh, example, older plant. Mm -hmm. so you can see it's already beginning to spread itself. Uh, yeah. This is probably about 10 years old now. So it contains some key like structure, like milky something. Ha, it's, <laughs> it's, it's got a milky layer. <laughs> Look 
kind of wind this look at it. Oh, you can see the flower. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can mm. see the flower. Mm-hmm. There seems to be some kind of a adaptation to having such embedded uh, roots. Huh? This is a exotic from um, Madagascar. Uh-huh. Uh, Cryptos This was brought to India because um, mm-hmm. in, in the First World War they mm-hmm. were looking for a source of rubber for aeroplane tires. Uh-huh. And they thought that this would grow quickly and easily. And then they they brought it to India. They grew it and then There's they kind of abandoned it. So it wasn't very successful. Well, the whole desert system they go all the way across to Arabia. Mm-hmm. So lots of affinities. Uh, mm-hmm. Same sometimes. Sometimes the same genus but different species. Sometimes the same species. Mm-hmm. So, like your pilu, your salvadoras, you get all the way in Arabia. Mm-hmm. So there is a mention in the in the Old Testament mm-hmm. of what they call a mustard tree, mm-hmm. and they think the mustard tree was was the uh, salvadora persica, okay, uh, because it has that slightly peppery taste when you mm-hmm. taste the berries. The berries, in fact, might be ready even now. No? Yeah, are they ready? Uh, we ha- I had. Mm. Look how interesting this plant is. So this is different from this is also a Valeria. This is uh-huh. Acanthoides, this is Pranax. Okay. Because I remember so that when species. I came last, that uh-huh. time I saw so many uh, thorny uh, uh-huh. <laughs> This is the, the Poculus climber with this lovely lovely rugose bark. It's good sorry. Mm-hmm. Have this creeper growing around it? Yeah, yeah, on top it's yeah. like a canopy. Yeah. So it's uh, it seeks the sun. Uh-huh. Uh, it has this. Typically, when you see this kind of bark, it's usually a sign that the bark is, you know, that it's prone to ground fires, mm-hmm. and that this protects the inside of it. You know, the ground, the fire will sweep, come through, and then go away. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't uh, harm the plant. Yeah. yeah. So this this grows a canopy on top of kajiri trees. On top of kajiri, yeah. Yeah. Protects itself from fire using special type of bark. Quite hard wood too. So this is the leaves you mentioned last time, Samir, right? Which has lots of. Yeah. Uh, if you go close. Really heavy. Very, very hairy. Hmm. I just click one for you and you can see. The hair? Yeah. So, trichomilla will be a particular kind of hair. The botany has 22 different. Uh, Merua. Mm-hmm. About to burst into more flowers. Ah. It's a little pregnant. Yeah, jasmine ka hi kuch ye hoga na? No, no, no. Alag. Ye wo care hai na jo uska uska family. These are the anthers, right? For both part male and female. Mm. This is stigma, right? Hmm. Iska leaves me kuch bleaching ho raha hai. Krishna Kadam. 
हमारे उस तरफ अलग ही है पेड़ पौधे गोया खेर स्मॉल थॉर्न ऑन द छोटा सा स्ट्रीम है यहाँ Well, it's just a little yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a little that builds up there and. Mm -hmm. ये पीलू हो रहा है बहुत. ये कैंपस में है. अच्छा सात साल का तुम चेंजेस देख रहे हो फ्लावर्स So this ground fire adapted yeah. characteristic bark, having this kind of groove like structures. Yeah. So if fire uh, is there, outside burns. Ah. Uh, so okay. This is a corky structure. Mm. काफी जगह तो स्लोप सारी स्लोप है तो पाउडर पानी रिटेन नहीं करता है ना ये तो गोया खैर फ्रूट नॉट फुली फॉर्म्ड हां दैट्स हाउ इट प्रोड्यूसेस इट्स सीड्स हम 
It's a bunch of pods, mm. not a single pod. These, these will, normally they grow a little bigger than that. Interesting. Let's see. There is a little bit of meat and a little bit of meat. It's not very bad, it's not very bad, but slightly. What's your name? It's called Pilan. I have seen this on campus. There is a fruit there. Look at this. It's a big big grass. It's a big grass. पूरा बैंबू की तरह एकदम केन ये कौन सा घास है ये चक्रम बेंगलेंसी है हाँ 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 कांस का बड़ा भाई हाँ मतलब सैखरम मतलब सुगर केन हाँ हाँ जी नीचे हाँ 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 पानी वाला है ना पानी है नीचे हाँ पानी है पानी मिलने के बाद काफी ग्रो कर हाँ नेक्स्ट फिनिश्ड प्लावरिंग इफ लॉस्ट इट्स टॉप ना ना दी स्टॉक सु हम्म ये रोग फल का नहीं खाएगा Look at Mitali too. Little sweet, little bitter also, but interesting. This is Cocculusca fruit. Try it. It's got a slightly bitter aftertaste. It's also got a sweetness to it. If you don't like it, you can just... It's not slightly bitter. It's not bitter. So there is a genetic variation. Which actually is linked to perception of bitter taste. Ah, so mm. I think you don't have that. Maybe you, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a very strong mm. coffee drinker, right? I do drink. Maybe. Does it, uh, maybe does it taste uh, change with bitter tasting uh, during fever? It might be very really interesting. Yeah, we have to know. study that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Ayurveda may vast but the dryness way. This is carrot, carrot flower. This we have in campus, but flower I didn't see. If you have a volcanic flow, mm -hmm. This is like a conglomerate, but it's basically it's got broken class that are collected in one matrix. So I don't understand how this happens. ये आकाशीय सेनेगल ना
Pradeep Krishan explains how this rock park was built. They made some pits in the rocks and filled with soil. In that soil, they grew the plants. as a microhabitat to we've counted something like 20 other plants that like to grow inside the thorn mm -hmm. because the thorns will offer protection mm -hmm. the shade will give it some cool the succulents will give it some cool so this is an example mm -hmm. yeah so this is like nice the, the mm -hmm. coculus liking to grow inside mm -hmm. and to open it pops open. Uh, and it's the seed and then, is yeah and then and then the seeds eject out like a projectile so these ripples of the seabed these are all sedimentary rocks mm -hmm. rock samples mm. Stromatolites, these are also fossils, blue green bacteria, sheet like colonies. Iron rich sandstone. Hmm. Very shell, sir. Flint. Tiny crystals of volcanic land. जिसको देखकर एक्चुअली वो एक कैटबरी की बबली आती है वो सेम वैसा है टेबली सैंडस्टोन क्वार्ट्स एंड आयरन स्टोन फॉस्फेट नॉडियल Dolomite, limestone and magnesium, both. Yes, 
Kiss kan. Quads boulder. Plants which are aggregated here. Hmm. There is some desert, a natural park in Jaisal Mera. Mm -hmm. So go and visit in Jaisal Mera. Hmm. So we can push that park. It's open space. Called a Jaisal Mera. Tumse Rajasthan ke rahe hai. Tera ke nahi pade hai. Hmm. Lot of stones collection. Hmm, this is quite pretty. Namak. Hmm, pink soil. And the color namak. Ah, oh yeah. Stones. Here Pradeep Krishan is collecting some seeds. He is sprinkling the seeds simply without giving any water. You don't need to dug. Mm -hmm. The fruit are falling now. Mm -hmm. Long before the rains, mm -hmm. we also broadcast it now mm -hmm. because many of these are legumes, so they've got hard seed coats. Mm -hmm. and slowly, the seed coat decays mm -hmm. and allows water. So, these will happen over many months, but we don't water the seeds. Mm -hmm. Here, we got to see the early stages of building of the Rao Jodha rock garden. This is an area around the Mehrangar fort. Where the park is being extended. That's coming down from the ramp. placing these rocks here. Okay. And then we plant it inside. That's what we, that's what's happened here. So it's really a design thing rather than a all fill up. So these will be not some are some are climbing, some are coming to into a small tree but we'll probably keep it trimmed mm -hmm. if you go on the other side we'll show you there's something that'll grow quite tall This wonderful Rao Jodha rock garden with its unique native thar plants grows without any artificial irrigation, without a drop of water in fact. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end.